part is there, there's a couple of live corals. The whole reef becomes degraded, so the whole reef changes. When I was still a PhD student at University of Sydney, I was studying the effect of climate change induced bleaching of corals where corals expel their symbiotic algae, turn white as a result. And I was studying this process and I found that some of the corals that didn't appear so stressed and so bleached were fluorescent, were glowing in different colors. Fluorescence is absorption of a particular wavelength, say blue light, and then emission of that wavelength from a molecule at a longer wavelength, say green or it could be red. So fluorescence is always dependent on light going in. In daylight, they fluoresce all the time. They fluoresce in the sea, but we can't see it because the light from the sun that's reflected swamps fluorescence, so we can't see that. But when we switch off the lights and put the corals in the dark and turn on the blue light, then we can see their fluorescence. There are certain discoveries that are only being made in the last couple of years relating to these fluorescent proteins. One such discovery relates to electron transfer properties. In the past, scientists thought that those proteins just glowed in the dark. They didn't have a particular um, function or a particular effect. But uh, a Russian team recently discovered that that's not quite so, that when we shine light on these proteins, they can donate or accept electrons. And that process is the most fundamental process um, in living organisms, that's how they generate energy. We can use that. We can use that in cell biology and biomedicine to create in immensely powerful biosensors that will measure things inside living cells. We can also use that to generate electricity. Um, corals themselves have structured those proteins in a three-dimensional way to best modulate and capture light. And so if we, come, if we try and mimic it, this whole science is called biomimetics, copying what nature has produced, we can then produce better solar energy devices. I think if we know something, then we care more about it. And of course, um, the reefs at the moment are under stress. They're under stress from many, many different directions, pollution, climate change, um, overfishing, so that if we care as as people about um, these natural resources, then we can influence what happens to those resources.